Now when you get into our printing hobby, there will be times when the print that you've put into your printer and you spent all that time and care planning will fail in total or in part. And that has happened on this occasion here. So if we take a look at what's happened, I've got a part successful print and a part failed print, as you can see there. So the main body and the main head have printed absolutely perfectly by the look of it, but the two arms for this winter soldier bus that I'm making have failed completely. So what I wanna to do today is talk to you about what we do next and some really important steps that we need to take. So I can be absolutely assured that in that vat of resin, there is something floating around that shouldn't be there. There's something stuck to the FEP that shouldn't be there. And if I carry on printing without doing anything, I will damage the FEP, I will damage the screen, and we're in a world of pain. So what I need to do is clean the FEP, clean the resin out. And there's a quick way of doing it, and there's a long-winded way of doing it. And the quick way of doing it doesn't always work. Now there's a setting on the Elegoo Saturn called Tank Clean, which I'm gonna select here. And I'm going to select the timer up to 20 seconds. The next thing I'm going to use is this. This is a piece of support. It's just a simple piece of support that most people have got something like this lying around. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pop it in the bottom there. I'm going to push it down and I'm going to tell the Saturn to do its screen clean. And what happens is at the bottom here now, the screen will light up across the whole screen and it will cure that resin that's touching the base of the screen. What it will also do is attach this support to the bottom as well. So when it's all over, what I should be able to do is pull that support out and a whole bottom layer of resin and all the stuff that's stuck to the FEP. Okay, and now it's completed. Let's give it a go. And it hasn't worked. Now the fact that it hasn't worked for me, it's not a bad thing because you can bet it's not going to work for you at times. This isn't a 100% method of cleaning, but it works more often than it doesn't. But if it doesn't, you've already cleaned some of the bottom of that screen, you've already cured some of it. So what you need to do now is go back to the other method of cleaning, which is the longer winded one, but in to, be, to be fair, it's the better one. You take one of these, which is a filter. You can get these uh, off eBay or you can get them off Amazon, but they normally come free with your printer. So you should have one of these lying around. I've just used an old top of a bottle here, but if you've got a funnel, that will do the job just as well. Pop it onto a bottle of resin. Now make sure that that bottle of resin that you're using will have enough space to take what's in your vat there. If it's a really full one, you're going to have problems. So an empty one is absolutely fabulous. Take your filter and place your filter on the top there. Unscrew your vat and simply pour the resin into the filter. Now we know that any resin that's in there, that's floating around in the resin, will be filtered. And you can see that what's coming through the bottom of the filter is clean, filtered, no bits and pieces in it, resin. And that's what we want. Take your time with this bit. It does take a little bit of time to flow through the filter but it's really important we do this. Okay, and there you can see that all the resin now is virtually out of that tray. And you can also see quite clearly on the bottom of this vat here that we have got some residue from that last print. Now that would mean that we would be unable to print any further because it would rip the FEP on the first attempt at printing. So we need to get that off and I'll show you how to do that. Take a clean glove and gently underneath just push the corner of the bit that's stuck to it. Use the good glove if you can to lift it off. Now if you find that it doesn't work, try it in a couple of areas. If it doesn't work Take this tool, now be really careful, and I mean really careful with this. And what we want to do is just try to lift the corner up ever so carefully. There we go. And I've managed to lift the corner up now. And I should be able to pull anything that was in there off. And there we go. Now I'm lucky, it's all come off in one 
patch but you might find you've got a few sporadic patches here and there that you might get off but thankfully that's come off in one go now i know that what's in there is absolutely clean and there's nothing left in there that's going to cause any problems so what i'm going to do is make sure that the bottom of the vat is clean before i put it back on there so a piece of tissue just lift it up gently give it a good old wipe down make sure you take any resin off the sides we don't want any resin on the bottom any resin on the bottom will cure any resin on the bottom that gets on your screen will destroy your screen now I have dipped this in a little bit of alcohol I'm not just using it dry and by doing that I can be assured that the bottom of this is absolutely clean Just going to give it a good old wipe all over with that alcohol soaked tissue. I'm just going to give it a little wipe round. Now, if you really, really want to, you can clean the whole vat out completely. I don't think it's necessary. I've got all the bits out that were stuck in there. If you want to use something like a plastic scraper just to run it across, just to make sure there's nothing in there, that's absolutely fine. And as suspected, there is nothing in there that shouldn't be there. So I'm really, really happy with that. Back onto the printer it goes. Two bolts tightened up. Resin that you've just took out. Give it a shake and put it back in. lid on now the other thing you're going to need to do is re-slice your pieces that you want to be printed and I've already done that on here so I'm just going to print the next print now and I'm confident this time with my fingers firmly crossed that I should get a complete print that comes out so that's what you do if you get a foul print you can do shortcuts like I say you can do a tank clean if you want to but if you really want to clean your resin out with a filter that's the way to do it Oh,